A passionate night in store, no doubt, here at the Estadio de la Ceramica in Spain. Derek Ray here on the commentary box, joined as always by former England defender Lee Dixon. And we've got pulsating league action coming up for you. It is Villarreal up against Manchester United. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Always my favourite time of the week, spending time with you at games. We should be in for a belt here. Here with these two. The Villarreal starting 11. Fairly conventional 4 5 1 setup. Yeah, that back four will be protected throughout the game with the five midfield players in front of them. Really important that they do support that lone striker when they do have the ball. Pretty simple save for David De Gea. Molanes has a go, and De Gea, absolutely brilliant goalkeeping. Well, I understand there's been a cup. Paco Alcacer! Up behind for another corner. So the corner played into the box. And it can be a hit or a miss when it comes to striking it on the volley. Yeah, you always take a risk when it comes in like that, but he took a chance, he was brave. Just not his day on that occasion. Matic on the ball. Well, Manchester United impressed in the last game, winning against Los Angeles FC. How do you think it'll go, Lee? Well, a pretty easy 2-0 home win in their last game. Could be a different proposition today, though. A lot tougher. I'm going for a draw. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man. Lee, what do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, he's got amazing finishing ability. And when a player's got that, it means you have to go that extra yard tighter. Can they get themselves in front here? The goalkeeper relatively untroubled. Yeah, he's not, he's not going to let that one in, Derek. On Tiveros. And a pretty straightforward stop for the goalkeeper there. Yeah, weak shot straight at him. No problem for the goalie. Apologies to Alan McAnally for having to cut him off in full flight. To confirm, Paris Saint-Germain have scored in that match. And they now hold a 1-0 lead. Santi Cazorla has it. It's with Onguisa. James. Bruno Fernandes. Well, body in the way. Ontiveros. Paco Alcata. On the ball to Kwesi. And news of a goal in the Inter game. Let's hear about that goal from Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for Inter. 23 minutes, please. Can he make it count? And a goal it is against the run of what we've seen so far. Well, totally against the run of play. Well, they won't mind. Now they've got to defend it. Well, here we can see, Derek, from this better angle, it's all about the technique. When you're volleying a ball, it's all about timing. Let it get to the right place for your foot to make the connection. And there you go, in the back of the net. Underway once more, Manchester United have hit the front. And unfortunately, we did have to cut Alan McAnally short there. Just to confirm, Inter have scored in that game. And the lead at the moment is 2-0. Paco Alcata. Cazorla. Easy save. I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Arsenal game. Alan? It's a goal for Arsenal. 30 minutes played. 1 0. Thanks very much, as always, Alan. Will they get themselves level here? Now, the conclusion he's missed the opportunity. Molanes. On Guisa. On Tiveros. Molanes. Paco Alcata. And teammates to play it to. Paco Alcata! Oh, out of this 
swirl from De Gea. Well, his reactions, Derek. Just look how quick he reacts. Well, Derek, just look at the stats. They are behind in the game, but I can't believe how they've created chance after chance. Surely it's just a matter of time before they score the goal that puts them back into this game. Santi Gazzola has it. Isn't going to end up being productive for them. Well, couldn't keep it. A real opening now. Martial! And it's come off the keeper. Danger averted. On the ball, Chukwese. It's with Onguisa. Molanes. Well, that could have been it. Listen to the crowd reaction. They need to turn this game around now. Opportunity it is. He had just the goalkeeper to beat. He's got it completely wrongly. Well, he won't be watching that when he gets home tonight on a replay. And that was a very fine read. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. He's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Lee? Well, Derek, you're right. He has played well and goals win games. The teams have switched around. Manchester United kicking off the second half here. Greenwood, Fred, Matic. Not what he was intending, bad pass. Paco Alcacer! Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. Trailing, but hope in the form of a corner. And the cross is very much on. Well, a sloppy clearance. What can the opposition do with this? Good tackle. Firing it towards goal. A case of foiling the opposition by whatever means. Anthony Martial. A goal has gone in at the Giuseppe Meazza Stadium. Let's hear about it from Alan. It's a third goal for Inter. 49 minutes played. 3-0. Thanks, Alan. Possession changes hands. The interception there. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. He's found a pocket of space. It needs an accurate cross. Firing it in. Well, body in the way. And you've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. Saka, Martial in the middle. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. And take a real opening now. Keeper's contribution, but what next? Wonderful block. A surge of noise from the fans. They sense the team. United haven't had too much of the ball. But... They won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them. And with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. Ruben Peña. And can he deliver accurately? Paco Alcacer! The crossbar got in the way. Onguisa. Quintilla. Yeah. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Might be a chance here. The net is 
is staring him in the face. Oh, what an opportunity. It's been squandered. Well, you dream of 1v1s as players. He's had one and he's squandered it big time. Ontiveros. Morlanes. A move of promise on the flank. Well, he did his best to remain onside, but just failed. Yeah, it was close. It was close, but that's all it needs to be, close. He was offside. Matic. Fred with it. 15 minutes remaining. Well, look at those stats, Derek. The host dominating possession over the last 15 minutes, and you can sense the equaliser is coming. As long as they keep creating the chances they've done, time is very much of the essence, though. He has plenty of support. Not even close in the end, Lee. Well, he's had a go, Derek. He's gone for power, but the accuracy just wasn't there, was it? And I can tell you there's been a change to the scoreline at the Meazza. Let's go to Alan McAnally. It's another goal for Inter. Nine minutes remain. Delightful pass. Can he make it count? Oh, he's failed to hit the target, and that could have been that. Can you go two goals up? No, you can't. Sincere apologies to Alan McAnally because we had to cut him off just when he was in his flow. Just to confirm, Inter have scored in that game. And they are thoroughly dominant. The scoreline at the moment is 5-0. Throw in to Manchester United. Jesse Lingard. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. And only two minutes remaining here. Jesse Lingard. Fred with it. The electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. Well, Derek, the clock is ticking. The crowd are doing their bit, trying to get the players forward to try and get this goal. Making progress. And now it is truly final.